Ladies and gentlemen, my watch just told me something very important. There's only one delivery I'm expecting today. It's that. This here is an Xbox. We're gonna open it up in just a few minutes. Hello everyone, we're trying something a little different today. I have used tripods to mount uh, bias light and my iPhone so that I can do an unboxing video. I've never done an unboxing video. I This morning I got delivery of my new Xbox Series X and I'm quite excited by it. This is uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while, get this machine. I'm not exactly sure where it will go in this room. I have a couple, couple thoughts. But first I want to take it out of the box and see exactly what's in it. So I've got the most important tool for unboxing. My pocket knife. This box. I won the lottery, you know, uh, to do a pre-order. Oh, look at that. That is that's some sharp packaging right there. You see here that I, of course, have uh, put the box on my <laughs> on my work table the wrong way. Oh, look at that! In fact, the uh, the headset here for my iPhone I just caught it. So let's take these spacers out and then get the box itself. This is a serious box. This box is not screwing around. I mean, just unboxing the box is problematic. However, that's a good box. I'm going to save that for later. Alright, so what do we got here? Xbox Series X. It's a 4K Blu-ray player. Very important. It's a solid box. I feel confident that uh, this box is worth what's inside of it because it was not cheap. I'm not going to read that shit to you. You can look it up online. But clearly, I'm going to power my dreams here and become a Master Chief. Uh, those of you who are familiar with the Halo franchise, being the Master Chief is not really the best job. In fact, it's more or less a death sentence unless you uh, hang out in that gulch forever. So, I've got a few pieces of tape to cut here until we are open. I'm sure I can edit this so it's not nearly as boring, but as it's my first unboxing video, you get to watch and I get to explore. All right. I think there'll be another, yeah, here we are, a couple more pieces of tape here. They're not screwing around. Uh, I think there's another piece of tape here. Oh no, I already got that one. Go figure it. I cut it so clearly with my knife that it, uh, it just, Oh, that's how it opens. It opens like that. All right, so got to check our levels here real fast. Yep, you can see everything. I'm going to move this a little bit further over. And then adjust the angle of the camera. It's very high tech, these initial videos. I mean, I should use more of the space. I've just got so much stuff going on there. My NES and uh, the Mac Mini for media presentation. So, boom like that. We've got more packaging inside. Oof. This thing is freaking heavy. Oh my goodness, is it heavy. I can't... I can't even with this thing. There's a door hanger here. What's going on here? Ah, it's a quick start guide. In fact, it's telling me to use the app here on my phone to install the thing proper. So this is giant. We're going to unwrap this in just a moment, but I want to go through the other contents of the box. You saw my, my big melon head there. 
All right, so we've got big strong HDMI cable, ultra high speed for 4K stuff. We've got power cord. We've got a product guide. I'm sure I'll read that uh, when I'm really bored one morning. And here we have the controller. Now I want to go over a couple things with the controller. Hey, there's the batteries for it. So this controller here looks a lot like the uh, the normal Xbox controller, or rather the Xbox X Xbox One controller. Let me put them side by side. But it's a little more streamlined, and it appears to be a bit more ergonomic. Uh, I don't. I think the battery pack that I've got for this one will actually fit in there. It doesn't look that different. In fact, I'm going to try to see if it will pop loose in there right now. If I can remember how to take these batteries out. There we go. That's how that works. In fact, I, I think it will because that, uh, that is pretty close to how things look. It is the last thing in this big box, though, so I'm going to remove it from the field of view. The large pile of boxes over here. And we'll get back to the controller in a moment. So, here we've got this guy. Did I need to buy this? No. My Xbox One that I bought a few years ago for work worked fine. Uh, in fact, I use it every day, but I'm going to be using this every day. And I'm going to be moving that Xbox into the other room and hook it up to my projector. So, uh, big as life, fun games in there. Uh, a little more advanced than my 360, which I still have sitting over there, my 360. In fact, we'll do a comparison shot a bit later today of these three Xbox volumes as we power our dreams. But this is... Uh, Anticipation. I I didn't think it was this big. Honestly, I thought it would be half this size. Possibly in a year or two, it will be half this size. But uh, I think that feels like the top. Okay, so... Oof! Good lord. I think it's heavy. Super heavy. That is gigantic. I haven't even looked at it in the video feed yet. I'm going to look at it now. Yeah, that thing is huge. It's absolutely huge. These are... Uh, put there in back. We've got HDMI. Oh, there we go. See, my left ear does not like Apple products. I just want to throw that one out there. It's always falling out. AirPods have fallen on the ground and busted. Uh, these basic AirPods... You know, they do crazy stuff here. So we've got two USB for storage. I actually have external storage I can hang up to there. Very simple stuff. It's more or less exactly what I've got on the Xbox One. I uh, got this beast down here. In fact, I don't really know what's going on. It doesn't come off. That is That is on there for good. But that is a solid footing. And it is thump. As big. I understand that people are afraid of these holes. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure why, but apparently people have fear of holes. But that fan in there is a monster. That looks like a 140 millimeter fan. And it is going to be pushing, pushing uh, air out of there. So I have a little space. I'm going to turn this on without hooking it up and just see how loud that's going to be. Now, mind you, I have earpods in right now, so I won't be able to hear exactly what is going on. But I'll take one of them out. The left one is a pop out anyway. And I could uh, hook this up really fast to the monitors that I have here on the workstation, I'm not going to do that just yet. Maybe I could. I could uh, hook it up to this one here. Couldn't I? Yeah, I could. Maybe I'll do that. 
Maybe you'll get the full experience here. I don't know. It's my video. We'll figure it out. In fact, let me... If I got... I do have an HDMI in there. All right. Well, I just... I just pulled it out. So I'll figure that out briefly. Do a second video where we plug it in to a monitor. All right, power is in. I have a lot of power around this office. Possibly too much. I may be getting the wind cancer, who knows. All right, so we're gonna push that button. Anything happened? Nothing happened. Oh, right, there we go. There was that happy noise, the Xbox noise. That's not a bad amount of wind. It's not making a lot of noise. Which is a giant improvement over the normal Xbox. Uh, of the noise in this room, with uh, four computers, a couple network attached storage devices, a few uh, external hard drives, and a printer. You know, there's a lot of fan noise going on in this room, and there's nothing coming off of this. It is not loud at all, and it's it's blowing. I mean, it's going nuts. That's exciting. That really is exciting. So that's where we are uh, with the unboxing. The unboxing. I am going to pop this vi this battery pack out here because if I'm really lucky, the wireless charging capability that I've got already will continue. Right now, I'm going to put. Oh, sorry, let me move this back. Oh, it's heavy. All right, so here is the new controller, and here is the old. I don't think it's going to go. No, it's not. Look at there. So the, the holes are different. So I'm going to need to get a wireless charging pack for this. I mean, I can plug it in to the machine itself to charge. In fact, <laughs> no, there's not even any point of putting those batteries in there because it's not going to fit. All right, so we'll put the double A's in. My ear pod is coming out again. All right. I didn't set up the raw all that well. All right, let's look at this product guide here and what it tells us to do. Storage expansion, it's a guide to all the things. Xbox, turn it on, download the Xbox app, set up console, or set up a ton of culture on my screen. All right, well, I can actually do all that with my phone, but I'm not going to right now. The, uh, the point for me was to test out this area with the camera and the uh, thing. It seems to have worked well. I probably should have used this exact setup to document upgrading my Mac Mini even though that upgrade is not finished. But I think this will be a good video for now. And we could unbox many another thing here. Alternately, we could use this space to do unboxing. We could knock the, the bias light on the ground there, because that was hilarious. So that's a good angle there, but you know, it's also the angle that I'm at. So alternately, we could unbox on the floor here, or I could unbox using the flat space on top of my record player, which actually is like not a bad idea. It's been a little uh, hectic in here the last few days. I've been working a bunch of projects, but this room, I've got a lot of stuff. I'm adding more stuff, clearly. And it'll be very interesting. So one thing I will try right now is we're just going to set it up 
on top of my PC to give an idea of the scope. All right. So there is the hammer of Thor, Mjolnir. It's keeping my PC safe. But it might actually be occupying the position that the Xbox should be occupying. So I'm going to take off my microphone really fast because I need the space. Hopefully you can still hear me. Microphone wasn't that big of a deal. Turn it off, unplug it. Now, oh, this thing is really heavy. I mean, it is heavy. So for scale, I don't think this is gonna work. Good Lord almighty. I mean, physically it fits, right? You can't get any closer to the router than that. It might actually be too close to the router and it will interfere. Um, but there's not enough space at the beginning of that cabinet. I don't think there's really enough space back in that corner, although we could probably make some. We have to pull the monitor out some. Currently, that is where the Xbox sits. Fits more or less exactly. Uh, in theory, I could raise that up another couple inches. In fact, let's do a comparison test there on the height. See if I need to raise the monitor up a Were I to put this here, it is a couple inches taller. It is an, an inch taller or so. Right. Ooh, don't have to take my word for it. We've got my favorite tool in the world. Where'd it go? Oh gosh. Where is my, there it is. So yeah, it's one and a half inches. Can we just zoom in on that? There we go. One and a half inches taller than what I need there. So one more segment and I could fit that underneath. It's not the worst plan in the world. It's going to, I mean, that's kind of wasted space underneath that monitor riser anyway. I could even possibly just put the monitor on the Xbox. It's right about the same height, and that would give me a lot more space back on the desk. I'll try out different configurations to see where we are. It's not the worst plan in the world. But typically, this is the monitor that I would be... Oh, so let's unzoom. This is the monitor I'd be playing it on more often than not. Uh... This is the Bluetooth speaker bar there. I'm not sure whether I can Bluetooth output from an Xbox. We'll see with this new one, right? Alternately, I have explored moving this monitor space forward and dropping the Xbox back here. I've got, I've got a lot of stuff dropping on the ground because I make poor choices. There's enough space back there, I think, to do it. I would need to we have to go upright and would set it up here so I could access the disc. I purposely got the one with the disc because uh, you're not even looking at that. Hold on. You're looking back there where I'm talking and I'm going to drop this down a little bit. I purposely got the Xbox with the disc because I have physical discs. Specifically, I have some 360 games that do not play on the Xbox One. I'm hoping that they will be more compatible with the Xbox Series X. It's got a tougher processor in it, a little bit more going on. And I don't know. So I'm going to hook this up. I'm not going to unhook Series One the Xbox One for now, because I'm going to do some comparison streaming a little later 
using the Xbox Live app. And that should, I think, give me a better idea of where to put things and how to keep them. So thank you for paying attention to my Idiot with a Microphone unboxing of my Xbox Series X. And I hope this video doesn't piss you off. Talk to you soon. Signing off.